Let's see how easy it is for Graphic Tracer to turn this cell phone photo of a logo into a quality original that you can actually use. When the file is opened, you can see how noisy this image is. Notice the JPEG artifacts around the edges. We first need to tell the program which colors we want to trace. The default setting is black and white. Click on the image with the color picker tool to add color. The leftmost color is the background color, and this will not be traced. In this image, we will change the background color to gray and then click Process. We can now see which areas will become black and which will become red. As you can see, there are a couple of miscolored dots that need to be fixed. This could be done with the Bitmap Brush tool or the Bucket Fill tool, but we want to show how to use the Color Filter tool. One click with this tool will remove the spot and fill it with neighboring colors. If there are many spots in an area, just click the colors you want to allow and then circle the area and all of the miscolored spots are easily removed. We will now create vectors from this bitmap. The bitmap image was both blurred and noisy, so the resulting graphics look far from good. With Graphic Tracer, we're going to make it perfect. The next step is to fix text. We simply select the text and click the Identify Font and Replace option. The text is arced, so we will adjust the suggested circle and click Next. Check all of the letters are correct and then click Next. Graphic Tracer will now compare the text with a database containing more than 100,000 fonts plus all of the fonts that you own. When the search is completed, the suggested font is shown right on top of your text so that you can confirm that they match. Fonts that you own are green, which means you can immediately use them. If it's needed, you can adjust the rotation and position of each character before you click Replace. Fixing the second text is even easier. Select it, click Identify Font, select Arc Text, adjust the circle to fit the baseline of the text, click Next and confirm that all the letters are correct. You can now use the last search results when you know it's the same font and immediately click Replace to get perfect text. Now we proceed to adjust shapes. This is the note editing of Graphic Tracer and here you will find a selection of tools that will help you get perfect graphics. Here we want to shape a sharp corner, select nearby nodes, and then hold the cursor over the Convert to Corner tool. You can see a preview of what will happen before clicking with this tool. When you want to select a row of nodes, click the first one and then click the last one while holding down the Control key. All the nodes in between will be selected. This time we want to convert the selected nodes into a circular arc. We simply click Convert Nodes to an Arc to make it perfectly round. We will do the same thing with the other side of the figure. When you select a row of nodes and the wrong half of the object is selected, just click the node again and the nodes will be selected going in the opposite direction. If you press the space bar, the original bitmap will be revealed in the background, then this way you can quickly see how your graphics should look. You can also turn the bitmap on and off with the view menu. The next step is the replace shapes tool. We have a few round objects that need to be corrected. We select the convert to circle tool. All of the objects that are clicked on will quickly be transformed into perfect circles or ellipses. Press the control key to avoid rotation when you click. The graphic is now complete and ready to be used for printing, sign cutting, engraving, embroidery, or any other purpose. The finished logo can be resized without any loss in quality. And if you're working with Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, you can use the click link to quickly transfer the image to your page with one click.